Part 2 of Volume 1, Stranger Things, out now! <laughs> Everyone hated the microphone, so I brought it back. Hi everyone. Sorry for the delay with part two of volume one, Stranger Things, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Sorry about that. A bitch caught COVID for the first time, okay? I'll tell you how it all started. It's 4th of July. I wake up, I'm not feeling so good. I go to CVS, I try and get a COVID test. While I'm trying to get the COVID test, the CVS gets robbed. That's an issue within itself. I'm positive for COVID. Otherwise, not so much. And then on top of that, I thought that the new tattoos that I got because I'm yatted, I thought that they were infected. So I start panicking. So now I have COVID and I'm a little infected girl. I go to the little telehealth doctor. She's like, no, you just have eczema. That's very embarrassing. Not the eczema part. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm hurting the eczema community. No offense to the eczema community, but suddenly I'm just a little itchy bitch now. Please welcome me into not only the commentary community, the virgin COVID community, and also the eczema community. Because I've entered a lot of communities in this past week. I'm just broken out into hives. I couldn't film. My mom had to stop by and like through our masks, throw this up to me. It's extreme rash treatment. I'm not an itchy bitch anymore, so now I can finally film Stranger Things Volume 1 Part 2. It doesn't matter. You know what you're watching. So last that we saw, Max got ginger snapped. Now we're entering Episode 5 of Volume 1. Let's waste no time. Let's begin. We're in Vecna's lair right now, by the way, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> he decorated my room really nice. <laughs> this poor man. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. It's not funny that he's dying, but it's funny because <laughs> like it's not working. More pressure. I've never been around a dead body, but I feel like I could have been. Oh, I thought he was stuffing him with the newspaper for a second. I thought he was like trying to stop the bleeding with the newspaper. This isn't funny, but I don't even know his name and he's not even remembered. There's so many other characters that died and get so much more recognition. And not once have I seen people been like, bring the detective back. Bring him back for season five. We need him back. And I'm going to be that stand for him. I have no comments for that. I don't know why I put that in. <laughs> I put it in. I was like, I'm gonna do some comment about that. But now that I've watched that scene, I have nothing to say about You'll it. You'll have to forgive the staring. You're a bit of a celebrity down here. Here's what I don't understand is how long have they been working on this? Because imagine if Elle said no. Like imagine if she was like, no, I'm not gonna come back to work with you guys. Like absolutely not. Like they did not build this whole entire thing underground in 12 hours. That just didn't happen. How long have these poor people been underpaid and overworked? <laughs> in the down below. They've all given up their lives, their, their jobs, their families to come work They killed their whole families. Because they believe in And everyone lives. in their lives <laughs> just to work for Elle. Hello, Eleven. That's the same reaction I would have if I saw my father. <laughs> oh, she's so cute as a little one. Papa! <laughs> also, it's kind of cringe that he refers to himself in third person. Um, daughter and papa. Oh my god, back to the David Harbour feet core. So much feet content. I get it, we love Hopper. My channel is not a safe space for the armpit fetish community, nor the David Harbour feet community, sorry. He's a hottie, and I'm happy that he's getting the recognition that he deserves. <laughs> Look at him spit. I watch that in slow motion every single time. Did you know, peanut butter is banned in motherland. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my grandma that one time that she smuggled mustard seeds into America. I don't mean to out my grandma on my channel or anything. But it's like a common thing that like in Poland, everyone's grandma wants to bring back like some sort of seeds or some sort of plants. And like it's not to like, you know, make money off of them. It's like, oh, well, we don't have good mustard seeds in America. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Sorry, Grandma, for outing you. I buy for dollar thirty here, sell for twenty dollars there. Wait, I want to fact check that. If if peanut butter was actually banned in Russia, you know you're welcome here anytime. Totally. I love their relationship together. Yeah, why not? Take us for all we're worth. <laughs> okay. We've been having a fun morning, right, Holly? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is Holly? <laughs> I need to stop calling minors and like <laughs> little kids bitches. I need to stop saying that. Oh my god, uh, Nancy Wheeler's in her detective era again. Not just any house. Natalia Dyer's like such a quiet, like meek little woman. And then in the show, she's like an absolute badass detective who like always has a gun strapped to her. 
Oh my god, she's in her bald era again. I don't know, I like her bald era. And I don't know a lot about wigs, but that's a very, very nice fucking wig. He's in his Johnny Depp era. You can't tell me that he doesn't remind you of Willy Wonka. Ew, they're about to tango. Yo, dude's probably got like a family and kids and all that shit. Argyle's the only one who is having like a normal reaction to someone dying. Jonathan and, and, and Mike have not even experienced like death or that much scariness firsthand. You know what I mean? Like Will, okay, fine. He was trapped in the upside down, whatever. Mike Wheeler hasn't experienced anything scary a day in his life ever. I don't think that boy has ever come in contact with the Demogorgon or the Mike, like nothing throughout the entire like four seasons. He's had no issues. He's being a little bit too casual. Huh? Pur purple palm tree delight. Right. Uh-huh, right. Uh, more weed? Is that really a good idea right now? Why is Will on the D.A.R.E. campaign so fucking bad? It's like, weed? Is that really the answer here? Okay, you're acting like a fucking cop right now, Will. Sorry, I need to stop with the Will slander. I know a lot of people were very upset with me last video for all the Will slander. There will be more, but... I, I've grown to have a little bit more sympathy for him. But about the weed thing, let's relax, okay? He's had more of a reaction to weed than a dead body that he's covering up. To say how you really feel. Oh. Especially to people you care about the most. I was never a Byler stan. A lot of people ask me about it. Like, oh, are you team Mike and Will? I'm team Mike with nobody, okay? I don't care about Mike. And that, I've made that pretty much very clear. Is Will wearing an, an Apple watch right there? Anyway, that's not the point. However, I watched a whole nine minute video on TikTok, which I didn't even know could exist on why Mike may be gay as well. Please watch this whole nine minute video because afterwards I was convinced I don't ship Byler still because I'm still angry at Mike. Anyway, we need to talk about Will's Apple watch. Noah Schnapp would do some fucked up shit like that, like wear an Apple watch and try and hide it. Because of the Doja Cat? That's not true. I am on, on Noah Schnapp's side. You are? Yeah, I am. Usually it doesn't matter at all. It matters a lot to me. It's been affecting me day and night. I haven't been able to sleep since the Doja Cat and Noah Schnapp situation. I literally got an eczema outbreak because of the Noah Schnapp Doja Cat situation. I have not known peace since the, since the entire situation. We had a baby and she was... Um, this is always so sad when they bring up Sarah. Healthy. I knew the wrist, but... Hopper always wears a blue little hair tie around his wrist because I think it was Sarah's blue hair ties. Elle always wears that hair tie now. Elle and Joyce just happened and I told myself they needed me. There's a consistent theme in this show that a lot of the men think that the women in the show need them. What's up with that? That wasn't true. I needed them. At least Hopper realizes... Everyone I love, I hurt. What if they come after Hopper in season five because of all of his guilt? The devil is here. I can feel his presence. I don't know. I haven't been to a lot of funerals, but I feel like that's just not something that you say at your daughter's funeral. The devil is here. Hello, it's me, the devil. I'm here at Chrissy's funeral. You hear a lot of people crying in this church. I see no one crying and not even her own fucking boyfriend. Should have been Jason. Sorry, not sorry. Damn traitor. You know what this group of men looks like and it's actually terrifying? They look like all the guys who are going to watch the minions now the gentle minions <laughs> like how a bunch of guys are showing up to the movies in suits and then terrorizing all of the the theater workers young men in suits it's terrifying max Max, what are you doing in my laboratory imagine jamie campbell bauer having to stand in front of a microphone over and over again going Max. Max. I'm gonna send this in as a tape to cast me for season five of They Need Sound Effects. This is how I be in your girl's ear, like. No. I'm kind of pissed at Robin for breaking that beautiful ass window. I also don't care that I give Robin slander. Everyone's getting slandered in these videos. Except Steve. What if we get those? Do you need to be told everything? Why is Dustin being so mean to him? For no reason. Steve has done nothing wrong this entire season, but keep everyone safe. He's never done anything wrong ever. St season one, Steve doesn't count. Don't screw up like your father. Okay, we left him in the past. It pisses me off to see Dustin. Being a little dick. No minor is safe here. 
Oh, that, that, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Minors will be attacked on my channel, like no matter what, but that's not what I meant. You know what I meant. No one is safe in a commentary video for me, okay? Including minors. There's no way that I can word this at all to make it sound good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should make that my banner for my channel. Minors are not safe here. Maybe he's like a clockmaker or something. I think you cracked the case, Steve. First of all, Dustin's being a little dick. Second of all, but it is interesting that Steve said maybe he's a clockmaker. What if Vecna is the keeper of time now? What if Vecna controls all of time? You know what I mean? Like, what if... Vecna is clock daddy and he gets to control everything about time, which is what I think a lot about season five is going to have to do with. Dustin needs to stop being a dick to Steve and that's that. Also, the fact that Steve was upset because he wanted to be with Nancy. Very cute and I love that. See, this is what all of my nightmares look like. I've been waiting to talk about this, but I'm sure CGI is very hard. My skills of editing only go so far. We should do like a fun little spin. I'm sure the people who worked on it are so talented, but I hate the CGI in this movie when it comes to baby L. I think baby small L looks like a fucking sim from like Sims, not the new ones, not like Sims 4 when they're super realistic. I think she looks like a Sims 2 character. Yarby Vanishka. It just looks awkward to me and I just can't take any of the scenes with baby L, seriously. Whose lover was killed in a duel. Nina was so traumatized that she buried the memory. Papa, shut the fuck up with your monologue. I feel like it's not necessary for him to give this. I know it's given for dramatic effect and everything, but I feel like this entire situation would be a lot less traumatic for her and easier and also faster if we explained to her what they were doing rather than giving this whole monologue on like, this is what Nina is and this is why we called it Nina. Blah, 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 blah. I'm in trouble. That is a very cool scene, I will admit, even though... Baby L looks like a Sims 2 character. That's gonna be my next thing that I'm gonna do on my channel. I'm gonna become a Sims person. <laughs> You're just missing out on all the fun. Training starts any minute now. Okay. In that clip specifically of her looking down, I'm sorry, just no nothing, none of it looks realistic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Kind and open the door. Yes, Papa. <laughs> do you know the one song that goes, Charlie, Charlie, yes, Papa. <laughs> 6.3 billion views. Sorry guys, scratch that. I'm actually done with the commentary and I'm done with The Sims content. I've never even started it. I'm going into children's content now. Yeah, after I just said minors are not safe. <laughs> this is what it's like to have a father. Is this the relationship between father and the children? Look how evil this child looks, hold on. <laughs> oh, I was fucking... I was mesmerized, all right. I was really mesmerized on that. TikTok and like, you know, short form content has completely butchered m my attention span. But that video single-handedly has just like rejuvenated it. Also, before filming this video, I was putting a, a light bulb into a lamp and I accidentally electrocuted myself. And I feel like I got hard reset and I, my will to live has come back tenfold. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? Why? Oh my God! Turn around. <laughs> Look at what this you is not see. Will anymore. This is Noah Schnapp. The character has left his body entirely. If we take the I-15 North, we'll get there by morning. Oh, you're being serious. I know. They're going to Mormon County, all right. Oh my God! It's the gentlemanians. Oh. Now that we know why there are spiders underneath there, how is that spider living in a jar still after 20 years? Then you might say, oh, Nicole, it's dead. Okay, if the spider's dead in there, don't you think that it would have decomposed by then? Maybe I'm stupid, but I feel like a spider that's trapped in a jar would decompose after 20 years. Am I dumb for that? Moving. Uh, okay. Just, got it, I got it. Got it, she gets if one piece a <laughs> of a spider there, web off of his hair as his entire head is still covered in it. So I think we can all go out or something. No, me, you, Robin, Johnson, See, when he's back. This is why I ship Steve and Nancy together and not Jonathan and Nancy together because Steve has changed and has like a little heart of gold while Jonathan has like never really said anything nice about Steve ever. And Steve's over here like, maybe we can all hang out like a big group, like you and your boyfriend and me and you and... and, and Platonic with a capital P. Yep, mm -hmm. thank you. I mean... I'm a dater, it's just, shh, it's 
never understood. But also, why would you say that to a girl that you're interested in? I, I mean, I would date her, but. The obvious things are you know, <laughs> people observe or t don't observe or. I just really love him. <laughs> what if I listening to this over and over, I get sick of it. Suddenly it's not my favorite song anymore. That's happened to me. Will it still work? Or With every song Kate I've Bush, ever liked like, ever. I've really missed that. Lucas! That's what? Oh. He's so sweet. Fuck all you Lucas haters. I will defend Lucas till the day I die. Which brave soul would like to follow? Mm, candy. Me, 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 me. Listen to the one older kid who you can hear in the background just going, me, me, me. 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 Like it's all these little kids and they're like, me, 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 papa, me. And then there's the one older kid occasionally going, me, 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 me. Remember to stay focused. Find the energy. Feel it. That's like the one Debbie Ryan thing that she said in Radio Re Rebel. I'll find it. Check it out. Vibe it. Really, really dig on it. And then remember that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you waste so much time with her? What a dick. Hey. Quiet. You tell him. You tell him. Like, he's growing on me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think he has a name yet. Mr. Sleepyhead, this is when he starts to grow on me. I'm like, yes! Defender Girl 11. The whole time when I was watching, like, all the scenes with the blood and everything and whatever I, I don't know if they did this intentionally because it involves little kids and they they didn't want the blood to seem like i don't know too realistic and like uncomfortable i don't know i don't know I in don't my know. personal opinion i just don't think that that blood looks re like realistic like i feel like it looks like they drizzled the blood everywhere i don't know what blood looks like but it, it i just don't correct me if i'm wrong correct me in the comments down below does blood look like this in these types of situations because i just don't think that blood would look like that feet like spears resist let's go psychowitz let's and go i will end you i just don't think that they would survive a plane crash like that like that is a very fucking violent plane crash i just don't think that they would have survived something like that How do they swim so fast to catch up to him? I know he wasn't that far from land, but like that was very fast. These gentle minions are like on the swim team or something. I love this shot. This is very cool. Oh, whoa! My neighbors, you can kind of hear, especially in this room, like you can kind of hear the floors. Like if I can hear their dog barking sometimes, they can definitely hear me going. <laughs> My boyfriend's a whole ass mechanical engineer. And what do I do as a fucking career? Barbie is a communist. Fuck Kent. I want to be cracked that good at the chiropractor. <laughs> Let's go out! That's very badass of her. I don't know how this old man is surviving everything. He's gotten concussed so many times. He should have died with the Demogorgon. He should have died on many different occasions and could have and should have. I think I want to do a painting of that, actually. I haven't painted in a really long time, so it's probably not going to be good at all. Papa. Daughter. She's got like hardcore Stockholm Syndrome, and I don't know if she went back with Papa to continue working together because she actually like, you know, wants to work and help her friends and seeing that it's working and she's kind of like manipulating him or if she genuinely is like, all right, Papa, let's... Get back. I don't know. I just I just don't understand her feelings at this point. Eddie is a vessel. He's being so dramatic. Just a vessel. a vessel. Let's relax. For Satan. Let's just fucking relax. Maybe he should be the one that should have bought drugs off of Eddie. Let's just chill out. Let's just like take some special K, okay? Let's just all chill. Let's just get a little bit of purple palm tree delight up in his system. Jason needs to smoke some weed and I want to see Will Byers smoke a fucking cigarette in season five. He deserves one. You know what happens when someone has a stroke? Oh my god. 
Elsa Strokes fan confirmed. <laughs> it scrambles the signals in the brain to the point where the mind can forget how to do things, to eat, to speak. Just as a stroke victim can learn to walk again, I believe you two can return to your full power. Your abilities oh. are still in here. I just really don't like the amount of times that he's like touching her. I know it's supposed to be like in a paternal way, but I think I, I just, I hate his character. Like I hate him. I mean, I mean like he's a great actor. So he portrays being a creepy little shit very, very well. But like, I just hate every single time that he touches her. I'm like, get away. Stop touching her. If this all happened, why don't I remember? Because you do not want to. Our brains have a defense mechanism in place to protect it from bad memories and trauma. This show does such a good job about talking about mental health without actually like bringing up the words and like education accurately like showing it. They're literally talking about repression and what PTSD can do to the brain. And then like they make it come to fruition by like showing someone like Eleven, even though she's like a supernatural type of character. Really, really can't. At least he can drink himself into feeling better. That's what my mom does. I used to be that friend in the friend group who would always make like a dad joke in like the most uncomfortable times. I'd be like, oh yeah, I don't have a dad. And everyone's like, they're just really religious. Yeah, I'm like super spiritual, dude. Yeah, I think they're spiritual too. Just in a different way. Me with my entire Catholic family. <laughs> Kita! Mama? A little clemmy ASMR. Look, I got a little Clementine tattoo. <laughs> it's you. Clementine, be quiet. Mommy's trying to work. Is Susie here? <laughs> Ow. Whoever that kid is, I hope he got paid a lot for his role because he is probably the most memorable side character that has ever been shown in Stranger Things in all four seasons. This is my kind of party. <laughs> We're looking for Susie. All right, stay in it, Tabitha. Stay in it. Eden. I love her, and so does everyone else. I want to know where she got her earrings from. I want that hairstyle recreated. I want to be her. Eden, I. I will shove her for you. I will. Are you like. Which number are you aiming for? Mind your fucking business. Three. No. Right here, if you look at his middle finger, um, that's where they try to cover up Jamie Campbell Bower's tattoo. Stop touching her. I don't like it when any grown man touches Elle. One. Papa said that he doesn't exist, I know. But can I tell you a secret? Sometimes. Papa doesn't tell the truth. See, this is when I start like standing him and actually really liking him as a character and trusting him. He said he had figured it out. He had found his strength in a memory from his past, something that made him sad, but also angry. Do you maybe have a memory like that? Knowing this now, like knowing the ending to the show and everything, what is his sad memory? What is, what is it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is his sadness? Like, what is this supposed memory? Are we going to find out in season five? Like, what is this supposed sad memory that he is channeling all of his little anger from? Why is he so angry? Why is he feeling so many feelings from what is the memory? Do you remember the day a strange woman came to see you? This would have been when eight was still here. Theory time. I watched this whole other theory video and everything on how he... This man, whatever, I can fucking say everyone has seen the entire season now. And if you didn't, then this is the spoiler. There is this whole theory that Henry is actually Elle's dad. He would have been f four years older than Jane or Elle's mom. So it is very possible that he could be Elle's father. And I don't know, this just like answers so many questions as to why he feels like such a connection towards Elle, like why Eleven is so powerful. Why was Eleven so strong? You know what I mean? Like stronger than all the other kids. It could make sense why he is so obsessed with Eleven and like why he wants to help her so much and why he wants to work with her so badly. It could all be because he is actually 
her father and then him calling Jane's mom a strange woman like I don't know that just gives you know divorced parents energy like calling the woman a strange woman whatever I don't know I don't know I just feel like it's fitting got something very special planned for you today are you ready yes Johnny Johnny yes papa should have just told the truth. that's what I'm fucking saying and risk everything risk what no that's also what I don't understand. I feel like this could have all been handled differently if they had just told her or like sat her down and been like, this is a memory in which, you know, something traumatic has happened to you and you witness something. We would just want you to watch it. Just watch it. Maybe this will like jog your memory a bit rather than her going through this whole entire thing. Like, what are they risking by showing her that? I don't know. You do realize that Skull Rock, it's like a super popular makeout spot? Yeah. So? Yeah. Well, it wasn't popular until I made it popular. All right. I practically invented it. I don't want to hear about Steve kissing any other woman. It makes me sick to my absolute stomach. Everyone Vecna targets has something in their life. S something that's... Hurting them. But I did know you, and I'm sorry. I just didn't look hard enough. Lucas is the sweetest character on this show. He has always righted all of his wrongs. And I want better for Lucas. He was supposed to be here for the break, and then he backed out at the last minute. But to be honest, I'm not even that surprised because I've been feeling and pulling away lately i still don't like jonathan to this day because of what he did in season one and how he took nude photos of nancy without her knowing through the window and i do think that that is creepy and then the fact that she afterwards was just like i'll be in a relationship with this guy it's okay he seems normal enough you can't come back from that sorry not in my book we will find him no it's the gentle minions again you won't Call themselves Hellfire. That's bullshit. The Hellfire Fuck yeah, Erica. Cult, it's a club for nerds. You tell them. Erica. Just That's the facts. A club in Save Hawkins together. No one cares, Jason. No one cares about what you have to say. I hate Jason, and I hate that he was even a character introduced into all this because it means less screen time for everyone else. Right, it's for, for the promotion. The first people to find the secret location receive uh, an American Tendo. Uh, an American Tendo. Pull your damn weight. Language. Oh no. Am I gonna burn in hell now? Oh, you tell her, Eden. I, I used to be a mini Susie Pooh. And now I've transformed into a wannabe Eden, so. Father could see my soul was tortured and he wrenched a confession out of me. Not only was I breaking the law, I was dating an agnostic. Agon. After learning the terrible truth, he confiscated my computer. That's how every person who has ever dated me. What's that happened to them? They got their computer taken away. You're calling the theater? The police. We got a bootlicker! Sorry. I did the thing that I do now, apparently. I ran. <laughs> That's so sad now, knowing the ending. What you just said. Mm. What is Mordor? Oh, off, Mommy Let's Steve go. again. See, this is where I actually really like his character. I'm like, aww. Let's go, Ashtray. Beat his little ass. Oh, I love Ashtray. The actor who plays Ashtray, they should have just used his little brother to play Baby Eleven. Because th the CGI version, I feel like this clip is like the only one where I think it realistically looks like an actual person. Because there's no speaking involved. Like, so there's no voice needed. I feel like he would have been a perfect Eleven. And we're I'm into the mainframe. Holy shit. Oh, holy heck, you did it. Technology connected to the internet. What's the internet? Don't worry about it. It's just gonna change the world. At this scene, I was like, they don't know what the fucking internet is. And then I remembered it's like 85, 86. I'm running the IP through a geolocation software, basically a form of data mining. Oh my God, we got a cryptocurrency miner. <laughs> this dad has no idea what's going on with his children. He's got like 11 kids and he has no idea what any of them are doing. Just has mysterious boys in the house. And he's like, sure, yeah. I think we just spooked a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> if you told me in season one that they would have included a huge bong in season four, I just don't know why I would have never believed you. This thing holds three people. Stay here with Max. Keep an eye out for trouble. You keep an eye out. Look at his face. It's my goddamn theory. <laughs> You said three! Sorry. Steve wanted to go with Nancy so bad. Sorry, Dusty Buns. I need to go. I need to go be with my girl. All because he said good luck to Elle. 
I feel like he didn't deserve that. All because he said good luck to her and because he was talking to her. Mm -hmm. The way that these kids' faces look staring at Elle like this, I would have bullied all of them so fucking hard. Sorry, I need to stop being mean to these children, but I can't. Fist fight her like normal fucking children would. Mm. Killed them, didn't I, Papa? Oh! See, this is why they should have just told her the truth. This poor girl is going through so much. Oh, yeah! 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 <laughs> I want to do the Nancy face. How Nancy looks in every single scene ever. <laughs> oh, when Steve gets so hairy. Right? I keep telling him he needs to tame that jungle, but he claims the ladies dig it. This see. is the funniest scene in all four what? seasons of Stranger Things. Me too, girly. I would have done the exact same thing. Steve? Just be careful. Be careful. Oh my god. The gaping, glowing vagina at the bottom of the sea. Vagina reveal! Oh my god, the Earth's vagina. Steve's gonna touch the vagina! It doesn't have a perforated hymen. It's just a wall. If you guys want to learn more about hymens, <laughs> link, 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 below. link in bio. <laughs> That's pretty wild. It's more of a snack size gate than the mama gate, but still pretty damn big. Now, why would he not come up? Oh my god, the hymen's opening. Oh my god. The hymen, it's been perforated. All up in your girl's ear like. Damn it! Oh my god, Steve Harrington feet core. Why is everyone in this show barefooted? I think we need to put some socks on these people. It might just be that I don't like feet. Leave Steve Harrington alone. Hey there. The amount of times that someone has like beat the shit out of someone or killed someone or come up from behind and just said hi or hey there or no. It's astounding. <laughs> this is why. Nancy is a role model for young women everywhere. She always has a gun or she's always killing something. And I love that about her. Anyway. The truth is, you're regressing, Eleven. You're going backwards. Eleven, look at me. That's <laughs> what my manager says about my channel. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, you're regressing, Nicole. You're going backwards. You're losing subscribers. Look at me, Nicole. <laughs> a walk. At night. <laughs> <laughs> to the lake. Gonna I love Dustin. Take a little swim, little night swim. Yes. Burn them with a little jail time. Maybe that'll loosen their lips. Okay. If Mr. Wheeler was alive in 2022 in this universe, he would have a Blue Lives Matter sign on his front porch. Oh. <sighs> Steve? <laughs> Sorry, it's just so dramatic. Like he's perfectly fine walking, and then all of a sudden. Oh, oh my god, poor little old me. Oh, someone help me. I'm so tiny and petite. Someone needs to wrap me up and help me nurse me back to health. Oh, please. Oh. What <laughs> squelching. <laughs> Where's that sound coming from? Do you hear it? <sighs> She's doing the Nancy face again. <laughs> well, we don't have to go all the way downtown for guns. I have guns. Fuck yeah, she's got guns. And so do I. Sorry. You almost deserved it. Pure modesty, dude. No, keep Steve Harrington shirtless. But let's give him, him like a pair of socks or shoes or something. He's way too barefoot. Who's going to tell me what happened? She must have fallen. Now, if you were trying to be perceived as an innocent person and you didn't do any wrong, why would you speak up? Dumbass. You have to believe me. Papa, please. Shut up with your little spitty mouth. You heard Elle. You deserve a shot collar. Sorry. Now, I was too ashamed to be the one who stayed behind. But Wheeler, right there, 
She didn't she waste a second. I was gonna say, if they went to high school together- Wait. I've been trying to kill this mosquito for so long. Whoever was shipping Eddie Munson with Steve, I don't really see the chemistry. And whoever was shipping Eddie Munson with Dustin Henderson, you need help. <laughs> Either you tell me what's happening, or I told Dustin what I found under your bed. Spill your guts, cow puncher. What does that even mean? Is that like a like a like a mean name to call your brother a cow puncher? Or what does that even mean? What's his motive? Killing teens? It always just seemed too random. Why are these children forgetting that there's literal like police at their home and there are like all these adults in the other room that could very well be hearing them? How many of these did you make? Looking at Steve's old hair. This commentary is just about Steve and that's it. Just hello! Hello! Maybe he really does have hello! rabies. Hello! Steve, what are you doing? Hello! Hello! I like this because it finally explains how Will was talking to Joyce in season one through the Christmas lights. I know. The only reason that I know what SOS is in Morse code is because when the pandemic first started, I remember my family and I were watching Tiger King and then we heard honking i look out the front window and we can see like a car off in the distance lights are going off and it's honking non-stop in a pattern and i was like oh my god that's a pattern and i felt like these kids i felt like i was like a little detective and then i went on youtube and looked up what morse code is i called 911 the person ended up being I don't, I don't know what happened to the person i don't know they don't give you that info but anyway my god them. look at these chairs and table that would have been so expensive nowadays on facebook marketplace mid-century modern he's being watched now, but once he is released, he and the others are going to attempt to kill you. See, now knowing everything and what happens at the end, is this true? How does he know this? I want to know. Did he make this all up? But if not, then I like him. The fact that I told her. It is time you are free from this hell. Like, maybe he's not a bad guy, you know? Like, maybe he's not that bad. <laughs> I used to have one of these little light bright things. Just trust me! Jesus Christ, this kid's gotta get his ego checked. His tone, You're bonding right? over Dustin being a dick. Okay. <laughs> These parents do not have their kids under control. I love this scene as well. But then you have to ask yourself, why does Eddie, why is he the only one with his little wheel light on? <gasps> oh! Oh, you know what? Like, so Erica is technically on the right, but if they flip it upside down completely, like, like from upside down to upside down, like who is mirroring each other, yeah. it is Max and Eddie. Yeah, because Max does have a connection to the upside down. Yeah. So that's why it's mirrored. Ah, oh, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> why is he standing there like that? <laughs> your papa calls it soteria. And the fact that he says your papa rather than papa, I don't know, just something I noticed. So why doesn't he put trackers in the other kids? Like, why didn't he put the soterium in the other children? If you guys haven't watched Our Father on Netflix, you definitely should. It's so sad and it's like horrible, but it's like a documentary about how this guy who was a geneticist, he like helped people get pregnant. So he said that he would give the sperm from med students to these people, like to these people who are trying to get pregnant. Well, turns out he used his own sperm for all these people. Have you heard of this? I forget what state it happened in. It might have been Indiana. What if that happened to Henry slash Vecna slash one? And what if he was forced to have kids with all these different women? And that's why he's such an angry fucking person. But then why would he not care about any of the other kids? He just killed all of his other children. Maybe he only like attacks teenagers because he himself was a teenager when he was like, you know what I mean? Oh my God, we just wrote season five. The Duffer brothers are like, okay, writing the season as we speak. <laughs> this woman is always pressing buttons that she has no idea what they do. Go her, honestly. Have you noticed that the Demogorgon doesn't have any genitalia? Like it doesn't have a butt crack. It doesn't have any, like where does it pee from? I need to know. Oh my God, they're reunited. Oh, 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 oh. And then cut scene to the vagina. This is where Chrissy died. This is where Chrissy died, the ceiling vagina. No way. Ceiling vagina has been opened. And then Nancy just goes, you knew something so small could cause so much trouble. 
He's such a great actor. The fact that his face can get so evil af immediately after getting the tracker out of him. How did you Like I said, we're alike. He's like, I'm your father. Yeah. He goes, I'm dadded too. I'm yatted. Those stains are, uh, I don't know what those stains are. Those are some awkward ass places to have piss stains. I mean, unless he's like moving his sheets around, but those just like aren't places where pee stains would be. You know what I mean? Not that I would know. Not that I've ever peed the bed. She's literally been trapped in like a Russian underground lair. She's like, oh my God, I fucking love ropes. <laughs> It's like, this rope is crazy. All right, I guess Why doesn't anyone want to go first? Like, the, you're going home easier. No one wants to go home. And this is one of those shots again where I think that the green screen or blue screen or whatever they used, I just don't, I just don't like how it looks. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. I wish that Steve Harrington would shake me out of a coma like that. Beckna's like, I'm gonna um, absolutely scare the shit out of you with showing you a dead body and scenes of you making love to Forever. Steve Harrington. That's what we're gonna do. Ah, a nightmare. Having sex with Steve Harrington. Ooh, so scary. <laughs> You're telling me this little child knew how to use a walkie-talkie when they were like six years old? Where is eight during all of this? Like, she didn't get killed. People, have people brought that up? I don't think so. But maybe she escaped at some point, but like how and when? Why does he look confused when he looks at the blood on his nose? Like, don't be confused. When the hair gets slicked back, you become a bad person. Forehead reveal. <laughs> this is evil, Nicole. Something was wrong with me. All the teachers and the doctors said I was broken. He said I was a gifted student. <laughs> In elementary school, I know what it's like to be special and different and important. Found a nest of black widows living inside a vent. That's just it, him telling her this whole speech. Like, she doesn't understand a single word of it. She had to be told what, like, what a friend is. And deeply misunderstood. What is misunderstood? <laughs> multiplying. What is multiplying? Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. You think that she knows any of those calendar terms? Cause she doesn't. I showed them who they really were. It's basically like he has the powers of 11 and eight, like both of them. Like he has the power of like telekinesis. And then he also has making you think you're seeing something. Dr. Martin Brenner. So was he just working at a regular old hospital? Look how fast his voice changes. He's like, tricked you. you. No, the fuck I didn't. What the fuck? No, I saved you. Join me. But why her? Why her? Number two is pretty fucking strong. No. When you look at this picture, Elle's rainbow is the normal way, and then Henry's one, whatever, his is upside down. Ooh. Just fist fight each other. Like, if he really wanted to, I feel like he could just take her down. Like, she's like six years old. Like, one punch of the vase and it could be over. So, he's not really using his mind now, is he? And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is how Eleven started the Earth's first squelching vagina. <laughs> it must be said, from the moment I saw this, I think that this is probably the ugliest scene in the entire show. I feel like it looks like it's straight out of Shark Boy and Lava Girl, like specifically when they used, they, they did something like this. I think they could have done so much better. And now he's yoked, he's ripped. And Vecna himself, he's tatted too. Yatted king. Oh my God, it's done. Wow. Yeah. We did it. I hope that you guys liked this video and hopefully I didn't ruin anything for you. I mean, if you didn't watch this season and you thought I gave you spoilers, that is not my fault. If you guys like this video, please make sure you leave it a like. It helps me out so much. Also leave a comment. Make sure they subscribe if you want to be nasty. If not, you're disgusting. Also make sure I have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you're gross. If you want to follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Nick Rafi. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nicky Nasty. Thanks for being patient with me through, you know, through thick and thin, through itchiness and eczema. I promise I won't keep you guys waiting as long for the final volume two reaction commentary stuff at all. It'll be out very soon. 
and I guess I'll add some more theories that I have for season five in that video. I'm gonna go now and uh, never forget. Yeah!